ready to roll. 45 rookie driver Derek Gervold inside row one. The Beast, Jacob Johnson to his outside. You'll uh, Rookie driver Caleb Ingle to the inside of row two. Casey Carpenter to the outside. Mike Ballantyne, Matthew Kaiser, Jason Ballantyne. We got him in barely right for the green flag. We're rolling. Jacob Johnson, your early leader. One lap is complete that time by the Wing Crate Sprint Cars. Jason Ballantyne looks like he hit the wall in turn one. Continues on but loses a couple spots. We get to lap three that time by. Big time lead up front for the Beast. All right, out at uh, race night. Um, second night out with the sprint car. Struggling uh, quite a bit, actually. The, uh, the car goes in the corner as soon as it gets in there and it gets some weight on it. The motor bogs way down and starts popping. It's just, uh, it's not, it's not eating through the corner. I can't get it to spin the tires. I get it down the straightaway and then get in the corner and it bogs down. And then it's really tough to get power coming out of the corner. And then once it come, RPMs come up, then it starts singing again, but uh, it's just struggling. Tough. Um, we'll get it figured out though. Work it little by little. And then uh, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Casey Carpenter, the next car to maybe go down a lap, but here comes Koa Crane to the lead. Crane around Ingle. They'll get around Carpenter. Matthew Kaiser now to the inside of Ingle. He gets a little tight those lap, two laps going into uh, one and two. I think the slower car also giving him fits. Oh, contact between those two. Somehow they continue on. Here comes Jacob Johnson. Three cars battling for second, all behind Carpenter. Oh, there's not a lot of wiggle room out there. Kaiser up on the wheel. There goes Castleberry into the wall. Chain reaction there. Nowhere for Castleberry to go. She continues on. No yell. Well, it's actually a couple days later, and uh, I was somewhat disappointed. Um, I kind of got upset with myself. Uh, I probably should have just got off the track and got out of the way. I was just trying to get some seat time, you know, trying to learn the car itself, but uh, ended up kind of being in the way. Um, didn't really know I was in the way, but uh, I felt like I was, you know, had some cars behind me. And so I went to the bottom, tried to stay to the bottom. Um, that was what was asked of me. Um, and uh, I got in the way and um, messed up a couple people's uh, nights and probably their finishes. So I'm really sorry about that. I uh, just kept struggling with the motor. Um, same thing, you, you know, go into the corner. Um, I drive it in hard and even try to keep my foot in it. And as soon as it would bog down, it would just start cutting out and had nothing coming up out of the corner. So um, just made it really difficult. And towards the end of the race, the uh, engine got some heat in it and um, actually started getting a bit on the warm side um, but started running a little bit better believe it or not and I was actually able to uh, get more out of it um, not a whole lot better but I could if I went about half throttle I could at least kind of roll through the corner and then slowly get back to the gas and I just couldn't get in it to really get some power down to, to really keep up with everybody so um, again sorry if I was in the way um, just just trying to learn and figure everything out um, tried to hold my line, tried to do the right thing. Um, I'll keep doing the same thing until uh, until I feel like I've started to figure it out. Um, anyways, uh, that's going to be a while, uh, be it for a while for the sprint car. Um, probably at least a couple months. Uh, now we're going to go back over to the modified and um, see if we can't put together a, a season with the with the modified and and uh, 
hopefully run better. Um, maybe even uh, finish up front. So um, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Um, tell me what you think of the car, uh, color scheme, and so on and so forth. Um, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you.